to show my medical records. I need you to go tell Cardi Flea to show us. Because I said, God, he need to be in the courtroom. Now, did that test come back clear or not? And who going to win in Woody Woodpecker and Cardi Flea case? We the people want to know. Test results come back negative. Did she pull a Switch a rule on the face. They stun chain because somebody else went in and peed. And the test go, you know, we use our children and nieces and nephews pee. Is it somebody else pee? Did offset pay the hospital to give a false lie on the test? Is Tasha K going to have to move into the projects or somewhere housing authority got some Section 8 voucher for? Who is going to win in this case, Lord? We the people want to know is Cardi going to win? And take every dime and channel Tasha K got, or is Woody Woodpecker gonna win? And them test results gonna come back saying clean. Ooh. We the people wanna know do she need a Glade plug in? And I is she all clear for, for takeoff? Oh, <laughs> not a medicated douche. <laughs> Child Cardi say her records came back clean. I say, what you talking about, Willis? Because we know good and well. <laughs> That them test results did not come back squeaky clean. We know we 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 the people know that. So now we want to know who money talking boy walk now. Did she pay the doctor off? Did she pay the judge off? Did she use somebody else's pee? Or was she clean? We the people want to know. We the people want to know. That was the girl Kaya, man. Give us some uh commentary on the Tasha K Cardi situation. You know, you know Kaya, man, she's hilarious. But it ain't really all jokes in the courtroom, so it is a serious thing. She's being sued by Cardi for defamation, and Cardi apparently want millions of dollars. I know Tasha K doing real good on the YouTube. She's a giant on the YouTube. She's a titan on the YouTube, so to lose that kind of money, though, still hurts her pocket. But now, you know, recently, allegedly, she's talking about Young Dolph, and why is he being buried in a 24 karat casket? Now, I want to say that a lot of these bloggers and YouTubers, they're connected and clickish with certain celebrities. They got celebrities that they mess with real hard and they fight for those celebrities and they defend them. And they also go on the offense for these celebrities. We saw that with Karen Civil when she was rolling with who? Nicki Minaj. She even got this dude's Instagram taken down. Anybody that went against Nicki, she went after them. She was also on the offense. Like I said, she got homeboy's Instagram taken down. I ain't gonna say his name. We know about that case. If you don't know, you could Google that. It's all over the place. But also, it can be that she just wanted a story. And right now, Young Dolph's story is very popular. It's trending. And she just needed an excuse to say his name. Who knows? She gotta stay on top. Her views gotta stay consistent. Right now, Young Dolph, is everywhere. Even the little minor YouTube dudes is eating off Dolph right now. But my opinion is it's kind of petty. She could have said something positive about Dolph. Why talk about the man being buried and what he's buried in? Young Dolph is a multimillionaire. His family has money. His family is situated. They would do what they want to do with the money. At least other than some of these other rap dudes Young Dolph left something for his family. He left money behind. His kids own property. It's in their names. His kids are good. They're rich forever. His wife is good. She's rich forever. So if she feel like getting a 24 karat casket, so what? It ain't nothing to mock. But it ain't no personal jab at Tasha K at all. I'm just saying, look, let the man rest in peace. Right now, the people of Memphis, the young dudes, they're still wilding. They're still shootings. Then... We don't even know if the cookie store family is involved a hundred percent. You know, there's speculation, you know, based on how what they were saying and certain information that came up. But at the end of the day, it's like Dolph had no friends. So the last thing he needs is another enemy. That's all I'm saying. Or somebody throwing more negativity on his name. Let the man rest in peace. I mean, right now he probably turning in his grave, y'all, because of all the drama that's going on around young Dolph and the betrayal and the people that stabbed him in the back. That is crazy, you know what I'm saying? The good thing is, like I said, the man left something behind for his family, and instead of talking about that, she talking about the 24 karat casket and this and that, it ain't right. And as far as Cardi B, listen, I used to see Cardi B in the BX. I used to see Cardi B strip. I used to see her in the, I know Cardi B 
outside looking in. I, I don't. I spoke to her before. She also used to strip downtown by Times Square. You know what I'm saying? So Cardi B was a local girl in the hood. She was was she wifey material? No, I never saw her as wifey material. She got money now. She got a bag and fix her teeth. You know what I'm saying? So she upgraded her outside, her appearance. She upgraded some of her morals a little bit. Remember, she used to drug men. Cardi was Cardi was really out here in the streets doing doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was in ECG, East Chester Projects, Allerton Ave. She was everywhere uptown. I seen Cardi all the time, all the time up in the Bronx. You could Google these places. You know what I'm saying? You could Google, if you want a sense of where it's at, you want to get an eye, all my out of town people listening. But I, I've seen Cardi B from outside looking in. She wasn't like nothing where you was turning your neck for or was like, damn, shorty is this and that. Nah, she was just out here doing regular hood stuff, hood activities, trying to put herself on, you know what I mean? And, and, and she made it. So I'm not hating on her neither, but I'm giving you a little history. I could go deeper. Maybe that's another video. Or if y'all want any questions about Cardi B, as far as being up in the BX, the Bronx, whatever she was into, what she was doing, who she was rolling with, you guys could, you know, message me the stuff or go in the comments right now and, and leave a comment, ask the question, I'll answer it. You know, but when there's a tragedy, you get to see who's who and who's what because they reveal themselves because they got to choose a side. And we just hope that these two women can work out what they're working out with legalities. We know Cardi get down and she got them goons behind her, you know. But, you know, a one-on-one -on -one fight, I don't know. What y'all think? Who would win the fight? Tasha K, put a one in the comment. Or will Cardi win the fight? Put a two. That one was for my ratchet folks that's listening. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that serious now. But if y'all want to entertain that, go ahead. Put a one. Tasha K gonna win or a two, Cardi gonna win. Other than that, I hope the two women, they grown, they both got a bag, you know what I'm saying? I hope they work it out. Many blessings to them and their family. It's Sean and HDTV. Rest in peace, young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? No more petty shots, man. Come on. Rest in peace to that man. That man is dealing with a lot and he's not even here, but his kids are good and that's the upside. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button. We got to keep the channel strong. They infiltrated. They're trying to keep the numbers down. If you're loving the content, you love the delivery, how we giving it up over here on this channel, please share the videos. Don't be scared to like the videos. Subscribe to the videos. Tell a friend to tell a friend what's going on over here. Sean and HD TV.